Hi everybody, I'm Tai Shuang, an application engineer at Keysight Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with external subcircuit components using Keysight PassWave Model Builder Program MBP. The scenario is like this. We have two devices, wide and narrow, with different parasitic drain resistance. How can we model them using one model card? Here, we take the subcircuit approach by adding a drain resistor to the core MOSFET model. Let's call it RDD. As highlighted in green here, in this demo, you will find example subcircuit model in both HSPICE and SPECTRE formats. However, we will use HSPICE model in this case. Despite their syntax differences, the workflow in MBP will be the same. The trick here is to introduce and treat RDD as a subcircuit instance parameter, just like devices W and L. So we shall get RDD in the device table together with W and L and temperature, and they shall be passed from measurement data file, as illustrated here. Each device has a RDD value associated with it, and the two devices are going to simulate with the same subcircuit model. Okay, let's start MBB and see how it works. Firstly, let's switch to a BSIM4 model and use its SPICE format. Then, load the example.mdm data files that you can download from the link in the video's description area. And go to Menu, File, Data, Data Loader Config to check whether RDD has been added in the instance name mapping list, as shown here. If not, please click the plus button to add a new row in the table and edit it. Close the data load config window. To display additional devices instance parameters, click the gear icon here on the top left corner of the device table. The edit instance dialog will display. Right now, we don't see RDD in the list yet, which means we need to add it in the instance names config file called inst.ini. There is a inst.ini config file for every model in MPP. We can edit it globally by editing it in the MPP home installation directory as shown here. However, we could also edit a local copy in our current MPP project. To do so, Let's save the project and go to the saved project folder. Open the project config default inst.ii file. This config file defines devices instance parameters. In the file, let's make a copy of one prompt entry and append it to the end. The format of a prompt entry is explained here. Once it's done, save and close the config file. And now let's go back to MPP window and go to menu, file, project, reopen to refresh this project. We now see RDD show up in the edit instance dialog. Please go ahead to enable it and click OK. RDD now gets displayed in the device table with values correctly passed from measurement data files. Next, let's go ahead to load HSPICE example subcircuit model. We can use MPP's built-in model editor to view the content and uh, verify that RDD is indeed introduced as a subcircuit instance parameter. Click the All Devices button to display the IDVD VG plot from both devices. We are going to see how RDD affects device simulation. As an experiment, right-click on the white device and do edit on the pop-up menu, which opens the instance property editor dialog, where we can edit the value of W, L, T, and RDD. Let's say change the RDD to 200 ohms. We shall see its simulation curves update immediately, while the narrow device's simulation remains the same. Okay, with that, we've come to the end of this demo. Hope you found it useful. To download the example data and model files, please click the link below in the description area. And please subscribe to our channels for more videos. Thanks for watching.